Yeah. All right, guys. Maybe Enjoy Maybe that I'll birthday. Get Hell yeah. It took me. It was really difficult to keep it all in, man. I wanted to tell you on Sunday. I wanted to tell you. But, oh, well. Yeah, there it is, man. We're going. Smile on my face, man. We're going. All right, guys. <laughs> See ya. Back on the bike. The J5 rides here. Just wanted to uh, cover a little topic that is uh, heavily debated, and that is when you start motorcycle riding, should you start on a Ninja 250 or a CBR 250 or any type of a 250 cc motorcycles? And in my opinion, I would have to say yes. I believe it's a great idea, especially if you have not ridden before, to start on a smaller motorcycle. Especially if you're trying to get into a street bike and your ultimate goal is a 600, 1000, or, or whatever, whatever street bike is your goal, or even motorcycle, I really enjoy the 250cc class. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, they're really lightweight bikes. You can throw them around. You don't have to worry about it having a lot of power. Um, they, I mean, they're faster than most cars, really. But um, really, I think it's a really good idea to start on a 250. And even better yet, I think it's a really good idea to take the motorcycle safety class. I think that was uh, one of the best things that I've I've done for my r motorcycle riding career or whatever whatever the hell you want to say. But uh, I think that's one of the best decisions I've made. Is the motorcycle safety class, and I started out on a I started out on a uh, 2003. Kawasaki Ninja 250 and that bike was fucking awesome I really enjoyed it if I didn't have to sell it to get this bad boy I wouldn't have sold it I would have kept it and I probably would have still rode it to work and back and still had a lot of fun a lot of the times people's egos will get in the way your fucking ego man your fucking ego bro will totally get in the way and uh, you'll think you'll think that um, I'm gonna start on the 600 cuz I'm fucking cool I don't want to be a pussy and start on a uh, 250 because people are gonna call me pussy people are gonna look at me I'm gonna be embarrassed Nah, fuck all that shit man who gives a fuck what anybody thinks about you in life in general but even on a motorcycle people can find something to hate on about you about anything you're fucking tall I can hate they t I mean I'm, I'm not gonna go through the examples of what people can hate on you for but uh who cares man what you got to do is you got to crawl before you can speed one of the other huge benefits in my opinion about starting on a uh, 250 cc motorcycle is that you really learn how to shift and you really learn how to uh, be in traffic and learn all your shifting without having to worry about going fast or even you know it's not it's not that people worry about going fast it's that the as if you start on a 600 or something big what happens is it's extremely easy to want to go fast the bike everybody always says the bike wants to go fast the bike it, it's really the person who rides it and that brings me to another point about safety the safest thing you can do on your bike is not act like an idiot just drive it like a car for the most part 
because the same laws still apply whether you're in a uh, motorcycle or whether you're in a car or a truck the same laws still apply so if you don't want to get any speeding tickets if you don't want to get any reckless driving tickets then you still have to obey the laws man and you'll have a lot of fun because the bike will reward you but as long as you treat it with respect boom that was a good ass quote i ended up finding a ninja 250 with 23,000 miles on it for seven hundred dollars on craigslist seven hundred dollars seriously and it was in uh it was in decent condition decent not really good but decent 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 i uh It needed a tire, rear tire, and it needed new brakes and new brake fluid. So after, what, 200, probably 200 bucks, I'm in the bike like 900 bucks, maybe a thousand bucks. And uh, I ended up selling that bike for $1,800. Yeah, so I made some money off that, <laughs> off that Ninja 250, man, because Ninja 250s or 250cc motorcycles in general are are a great beginner bike and a, there's a lot of people that are beginners so a lot of people will buy the 250s and start out and uh, sell them and I had mine for about six months also another thing to consider with the 250 cc motorcycles is the riding position the riding position on this fucking badass CBR right here is crazy because you have to lean over so much like a, a lot of a lot of weight is on my wrists I try to sit up as much as I can but a lot of weight is on my wrists and that was something weird to get used to and the Ninja 250 is more of an upright riding position a lot more relaxed of a riding position another point another great point about 250 cc motorcycles is the price of the parts the parts are a lot cheaper on a 250cc motorcycle rather than this fucking super sport and a lot of 600s and other 1000cc bikes. I had to buy a, a rotor for my 250cc and that bitch was cheap as fuck. And also on the 250cc the brake rotors, the front one, yes, it's only one. So on a Super Sport, if you gotta replace it, you gotta buy two. On the 250, if you gotta replace it, you buy one. Cuts the price in half, and it's a lot cheaper than buying one of the Super Sport brake discs. If you're gonna be hiking somebody, make sure you leave plenty of room for braking. The brakes on a 250cc are going to be a lot smaller than a super sport so if you're hiking somebody you got a two up ride on a 250 make sure you leave your, yourself plenty of room for braking if you buy a used 250 I mean just consider that that bike has probably been dropped not all the time, but if it has, I don't know, 15, 10, 15, 20,000 miles on it, you gotta consider that thing has probably been dropped, it's probably been ridden hard, and it, a lot of beginners start on those bikes, which is a good thing, and uh, you can't really expect them to always be in perfect condition, but if you buy a used one, you can also sell it I mean, you could keep it for a year and sell it for probably about the same price as you can, as you bought it for. I mean, like I said, I bought mine for 700 bucks, sunk, sunk in about another 300, had about a thousand bucks wrapped up into that bitch, and sold it for $1,800. Keep in mind, you're not really going to lose money if you if you sell it 
All right, guys, just to recap what I talked about. If you start on a Ninja 250, you don't have to worry about going super fast along with shifting and all the stupid dumbasses that are going to be driving around you. You can pro you probably will outgrow it pretty soon, but you can sell it for what you bought it for at least, at least. If you get a killer deal, you can do what I did and make some fucking money on it. It's a lot of fun. It'll get you used to shifting on the streets, on the fly, while you got other things going on. You got other things in your mind you got to think about while you're shifting. Um, and also speed won't be a factor in the danger of riding your fucking motorcycle, man. So, should you start on, on a uh, 250cc? Absolutely. I highly recommend it. And then that way you won't spend four, five, six thousand dollars on a motorcycle and come to find out you don't even like riding. What if it sucks? And you just spent four grand on a bike. What if you buy a brand new bike and then you realize, man, this sucks. I don't like the way this, this bike rides. I don't like riding. And then you gotta sell it and you lose a couple thousand dollars. A couple thousand dollars. So anyways guys start on a 250 you can always work your way up so until next time guys we'll talk to you later peace